What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and InScape tutorial for you. So a couple of days ago I made a video about the new features contained in InScape 2.4. In today's video I wanted to focus on the new adjustable grass feature contained within InScape. So this is a great tool for quickly creating grass inside your renderings. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so I'm going to try to record this dual screen. I always have a little bit of trouble trying to show both a SketchUp model and a rendering at the same time, but we'll see what we can do with this. So the first thing to note is I went in and I replaced some of the foliage with models from Inkscape's new asset library. So that was another thing that they added in version 3.4 and just swapping out some of that 3D warehouse uh, stuff with uh, the Inkscape stuff makes the rendering look a little bit better, at least in my opinion. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're just going to click this button for start in Inkscape. And what that does is that's going to pop up your rendering. So that's going to show up on my right hand screen. You can see how that's gone ahead and loaded up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of fly in on this model for right now. And so what we're going to focus on in this video is we're going to focus on the grass settings. So you'll notice that I am using one of the built in backgrounds here. You can use your own HDR image. You can kind of do whatever you want. I haven't done too much adjustment of these textures other than swapping out these uh, these materials and also adding a fence around the outside. And so the first thing I want to note when you're in InScape is depending on what your settings are, when you first load this up you may not get grass in here at all. So if you look at this right now, all this has is it just has a flat material on it um, that isn't showing any grass. So the first thing you need to do to use InScape grass is you need to turn it on. And so to turn it on you go over to your settings bar um, and this is one thing that's great about having two monitors by the way is I can make adjustments to my SketchUp model on the left hand side and watch the changes on the right hand side but what you do is you go over here and you click on the button for settings and so when you, this opens up all of your settings for your InScape model and so in this case what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to advanced and we're gonna check the box for grass rendering that'll allow grass to get rendered inside your model and you'll notice that change happens immediately and so that's the first thing is making sure that you've turned your grass on so there's two different ways to set materials to be grass inside your renderings. So the first is probably the simplest. Um, it's not really the way that I prefer to manage it because there's a better option now. But what you can do is you can just add the word grass inside your material type in SketchUp and InScape will automatically set it to grass. So like for example, if I was to come over here and look at this wood material and I was to select it inside my model, so if I was to use the eyedropper and select it, you can see how it's called Material 1. But if I was to add the word grass in here, you can see how InScape would automatically set that material to be a grass type. So if you wanted to, now everything that's made up of that Material 1, as long as it has the word grass in it, is going to get set as a grass material. So that's one way to do this. You can definitely do that, and it's good for like materials like this one, for example, that's a grass material anyway. But I don't really like adding random keywords inside of materials to get stuff to show up in here. So we're going to check out the other option. So I'm going to delete out the word grass over here, and what you can do instead is let's say for example that I wanted this block material to be grass. What you could do is you could use the material or the InScape materials manager and you could select this using SketchUp. So I'm going to select my block material. And then you can see how where I when I get this, this gives me a drop down. Well the drop down allows me to set if this is generic, grass, water, or foliage. Well in this case, if I was to set my block material to grass, you can see how all of a sudden that material is now getting rendered as grass inside InScape. So you can use this to adjust different materials. So let's say for example I didn't necessarily want this one to be grass, but let's say I wanted my water material instead of being in here as a water, which you can see that InScape renders that as a moving water. Um, if I wanted that to show up as grass and have this be like a planter instead, you can see how I could adjust that to a grass type using the drop down. So there's a couple different different ways to do that. Both of them are fairly easy. It's more a preference thing than anything else. But I'm going to go ahead and set my water back to water because I want that to show up as water. So that's how you can 
add grass to different materials inside of Enscape. So the other thing I want to talk about now is now I want to talk about how you can adjust the heights and also the variation of your grass. So that's one thing that got added inside of Enscape is the ability to adjust those heights. So you can see how if I go in and select this vegetation grass material and then I look in here I now have a couple different slider bars that I can use to adjust both the height and the height variation. You can see how as I adjust this slider up and down, my grass material that I have selected is getting longer and shorter. So you can use this to either set your height really short to make like a really well manicured lawn look, or if you want things to look a little wilder, you can adjust the height all the way to the right. So you can see how this adjustment is really easy. And the other cool thing about this is this also gives you ability to set the height variation. And so what the height variation does is it can make your grass look a little bit more natural because grass doesn't always grow at exactly the same height. And uh, we'll talk about adjusting this tent later, but I'm gonna adjust it down just so this is a little more visible. Um, so you can see how as I do this, you can make your grass look a little bit patchier or a little bit more overgrown by changing that height variation. So you can get those different looks and you can see how you can also adjust this up and down once that height variation has been set as well. So because of that, you can create both well manicured lawns as well as more rough, uh, more wild looking things. So it's really nice being able to adjust those different heights. The other thing that I really like about this is you can also adjust the tint or the color of the grass materials inside of Enscape as well. And you can do that without adjusting the actual material in SketchUp itself. Um, so the way that you do that is you select your material. Um, using the eyedropper in SketchUp. And then you can see how there's this drop down right here for tint color. And so you can see how as I adjust this tint color, I can make my grass look a lot of different ways. I can kind of color it different ways. So if I wanted this to be a brighter green, I could use this. There's a bunch of standard colors in here. I usually go to the advanced because I'm kind of eyeballing it anyway to make it look different ways. But you can see how you can adjust the colors of your different grass types. So let's say I was to go in here and select this other one that's right next to it using the eyedropper. I could adjust the coloration on that one as well. To whatever I wanted that to be. So I've seen examples where people use this to make like uh, logos on football fields and stuff like that. It's a really cool option to have. The other thing is I'm really happy about this model, the way that this has been modeled with two different grass types so I can adjust them individually of each other. And so the last thing I want to talk about real quick is not only can you use this to create grass, if you play around with this and experiment, there's other things you can do with it as well. So for example, if I was to come over here to this outside deck, and you can do this inside as well. And I'm probably going to go ahead and adjust my lighting so the light shines on it so you can see a little bit better. You can see how right now this kind of looks like kind of a flat throw rug, like almost one of those walk-off mats that you'd see in a commercial building. Well, if you wanted to, you could select this material using the eyedropper, and you could actually set this to a grass material as well. So, and you could adjust your height and your height variation up or down. You can see how I'm able to create a really cool like outdoor rug look um, using Enscape as well. So you can use this to create things like carpets. Um, I haven't played around with it. I thought maybe you could make something that looks a little bit more like a wood mulch. I don't know exactly how that would look, but it's definitely great for carpets and you could use this for like indoor or outdoor shag carpets or anything like that. So just really easy to adjust and manage. One of the things that I really like about the Enscape grass is that the grass actually takes the colors from the textures behind the grass and applies those colors to the grass itself, allowing you to create great variations in your grass materials. So for example, if you had something like this rug, so if I go in and set that material as grass, you can see how it's actually retaining the color of the texture behind it inside your grass material. So probably I would bring the grass height down and probably the variation down for something like this. You can see how this keeps the colors from the texture applied to this face and applies that to the grass as well. So in this case, this allows us to create a a carpet with different colors in it. But what it also does is when you're working with grass outside and you apply a material, and we'll just apply it in here for simplicity's sake,
If you apply a material like this vegetation grass artificial, if you really look close at the grass blades, you'll notice that they're not all the same color. They take on the darks and the lights of the material itself, allowing you to create grass that isn't just one uniform color that looks more realistic. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you like the adjustable grass material that's in Enscape? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.